you for joining us today as we chat about everything structured notes. Joining me today is the team from Cashbox Global. We have Chad, who is head of operations, and Andrew, who is head of product and structuring. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Lee. Cool. Thank you, Lee. So we're going to dive straight in, and I'm going to hand over to Chad. Lee, thanks very much. We are dying to chat a bit about this amazing asset class of structured notes. Uh, something I think the community will be quite excited about and, and fascinated through. Let's go. Tony Robbins, in his book, uh, Money Master the Game, writes that these are perhaps one of the most exciting tools available today, but unfortunately, they're really offered to the general public. And I think this is where the community gets together because this is where high net worth investors want to go to gobble these up like pigeons even Central Park but they need the right fiduciary to make this happen and to grant them access. And this is exactly where Cashbox fits in and uh, your community ideally to jump in to one of the most progressive, protective, uh, institutional grade investments that we're dying to take you through. So what is a structured note? Well, simply it's an investment contract stru structured between a bank and an investor. So if you like, a structured note is a structured contract. These are designed to guarantee above average levels of return, both in terms of capital protection and direct returns, either growth or income. And these are directly, can you believe it, from the world's largest banks. They are designed to work even in declining and flat markets, which we'll take you through. So, what has Cashbox done? We've unlocked this protection, this ability, and this access to achieve a steady 7 to 12%, sometimes even more, in returns in hard currency. And the convenience of being able to access this through one platform and one focus tool. We're going to jump into a video now just to explain how this works. Um, here we go. The difference between a dedicated investor who only gets access to retail grade products and that of a dedicated investor who has access to institutional grade assets is significant. You see, solutions are available to larger investors. However, most of us just don't qualify on our own. Solutions exist for predictable returns, protection, and steady income by putting your cash deposit to work. Outside of these solutions, most of us are caught boxed into doing nothing without cash or being directly exposed and vulnerable to high risk, high cost opportunities. And it is for this reason that Cashbox Global exists to open up a world of opportunity for every investor by making our institutional product accessible, trusted, transparent, and highly effective. Because of Cashbox Global, we believe that every savvy investor deserves the ability to invest in the inner circle of protection and defined returns. We invest at institutional, not retail levels. So what we've done is gather interest from like-minded investors who have a minimum of $10,000 or more to invest and put them in one box. Cash box of interested investors, if you will. So let's unpack the concept. Utilizing our strong relationships with the world's largest banks and product structures, once the expression of interest per product from our members reaches over $500,000, we are able to take the opportunity to the banks to structure these strong predictable return contracts, ranging from 6 to 12% per annum. The beauty being that the banks now deal securely and confidentially with each individual investor's platform in terms of their accounts, funds flow, and reporting, as they would for large investors. These solutions, known as structured notes, are contractually agreed upon and returned directly from the world's largest and most trusted investment grade banks to you. No middlemen, no hidden costs. Your full investment is placed in these bespoke income and growth notes. A steady delivery of up to 3% per quarter available in US dollars, pound sterling, and euro on request. You may ask, how is this possible? As you know, banks make money by charging you for the money you loan for your car, home, holidays, business, etc. Banks can only lend out a defined percentage of the cash they hold. Therefore, to grow their businesses, investment banks need to keep attracting large cash deposits from larger investors for longer terms. 
These cash deposits typically come from the largest of investors who have been loaning money to banks since they were invented. To make this attractive, banks pay above average returns and build in levels of income and capital protection with these specialized structured loans. Through cash box technology and relationships, you and I can get access at last to the best protected income generating assets from $10,000 or more. So in a nutshell, who are the parties that make up the cash box magic? Firstly, there's the investor. This could be you. And of course, you have your trusted advisor, financial planner, tax consultant, or coach that looks out for you. Any investor should have an online investor platform to hold and report on your investment assets. Then there's us, Cashbox. We introduce you to the deal that our partner, IDAD, has structured with the last role player, the investment grade bank that wants our group of investors to contract with them. And as a collective, we channel you to predictable, protected income streams. Sound complicated? Not at all. This is how it works. One, register as a member on Cashbox. Two, to complete this, you will need to supply us with the online investor platform you will be utilizing. Should you need a platform, there is a list of accredited platforms on our website. Three, once you're up and running, you will have access to opportunities. A, invest, or B, pledge. If you choose to invest, we supply you with the ISIN number and a defined closing date for subscription. If you opt to pledge, we book build investors' interest and intention towards investing in a product. Once the expression of interest reaches minimum capacity, the investment can go live. Again, we will notify you that the investment is active and supply you with the ISIN number. Four. Now you are ready to instruct your investor platform to invest in the ISIN for their requirements. Then you can sit back and wait for your predictable income stream. Enjoy your returns and reinvest what you can. Cashbox will keep you updated throughout the process because your peace of mind is our business. Now that you know what's in the box, be poised for new opportunities. Partner with Cashbox and fly. Great, thank you, Lee. I hope that video was informative. I'd like to take you behind the scenes just to understand a little bit about how the product works. This graph, I'm going to break up into components just to make sure that it's easily understood. There are three levels of protection that we buy and put into these contracts, which make these so powerful. Number one, the bank is able to make money in a rising market a flat market, and in some cases, a declining market by buying and trading options. And what they do is they buy a basket of stocks that form part of our contract, which we'll take you through in a minute. But now I buy my first level of protection called an income trigger. And what this does is it says that if those stocks drop all the way to half, half in value, which is unheard of, it would still pay me out my my quarterly returns. So we've gone to the bank and structured for 3% each quarter. And let's follow a fictitious movement in the market. This is the dark line. So let's say we observe these stocks at the start and they climb in value in quarter, quarter one. Quarter one, let's say they close out at 105%, 3% coupon, this is designed to pay out. Uh, this coupon or interest, some people may want to call it, will pay out on quarter one. Now, let's follow this. Let's say the market starts to dip. As we started to see, let's say, the beginning of, and uh, around March of 2020. And let's say the market's dropped by, in this case, 10%. Remember, I bought income protection, even if the stock's halved in value. I'm well above 50%. It's going to pay the 3%. Let's say we do go into a market crash as March did last year, and it drops all the way down. And let's say we breach this 50%. Let's say one of those stocks in that basket drops, let's say to 45% in quarter three. We don't panic. Why? Because we bought a third level of protection in our product called a memory feature. And what this memory feature does is it says, hold tight. Let's carry on to the next quarter. And if the market start to recover and I get back over 50, the memory feature kicks in, it looks back. Now, because I'm above 50 in quarter four, it pays out the first 3%. 
the memory feature looks back and hey presto, it pays back any missed coupons. So what's fantastic about this Lina is through the whole year, you don't have to ride this roller coaster. The product is, is evening everything out. So now here, if I have a look at the straight line, this is the difference between having a defined income product compared to riding the market. I take the risk out, I bought downside protection, and I get paid my coupons each quarter. Let's say now we get to quarter five. Quarter five, the market's really rocket. It's shot through the roof, they're sitting at 130. The product we've bought has a capped uh, income. It's designed to give up the upside in order to protect and pay and cover me for the downside. So if the market's really rocket, I'm still gonna get the 3%. Now, the next piece of protection is what we call capital protection. Your capital is protected for the life of this product. So let's say it's a 60 month product, a five year product, 60 months, and it runs all along. My capital is protected and underwritten by the bank for all that time. The very last observation, the very last quarter, my capital is then observed, or the stocks are observed, and it then could impact my capital. So the stocks have to drop, again, all the way to half their value before my capital uh, comes under any risk. So if I was to invest in any of these stocks directly um, without one of these notes, I would only ever get what the market was worth. So in this case, the markets may have dropped by 10%, I'll get 100% of my capital out. At B, for example, let's say even at 52%, I get all my capital out. If, however, the stocks close out under 50, let's say 48%, I will only get 48% of my capital out. That's in the unlikely event. Let's go back to quarter five. The products also have one extra feature built in called an auto call. And what that means, it's just the bank's jargon, means that the bank can call the product back earlier than the full term. So let's say they say that the maximum period is the five years, but it can auto call after a year, meaning that the bank will call the product back, issue you all your capital and all your coupons. It will always happen and can only happen in a positive situation for us. In other words, the markets are really rising in this case, I'm actually comfortable to come out of the product earlier because at this stage, I can go and redeploy my capital and my interest, probably re rebalance my portfolio and go and look for the next opportunity. So while it is a five-year maximum product, there is a chance it could close out early, but it will close out in a positive situation for us. In this case, this person for over five quarters has earned 3%, 3%, 6%, 3%, 3%, bringing us to a total of 15% over that time. As a bridge would go over the river, over turbulent waters, over the turbulent market, so these products smooth that out and give us predictable income. Amazing, amazing products. So let's have a look at this protection at work. We created a product in February last year, February the 7th, we had in our basket of underlying stocks, these are the options that the bank bought, these four stocks. For example, Apple at that stage was $75 a share. This was after um, they had rebalanced and we went and we bought a 50% income barrier. In other words, the stocks would have to get to $37 uh, dollars before my income was affected. In March, in the market crash, the worst in March, Apple dropped by 31%. I was well in the money. Remember, I'm protected all the way to 50. The worst performing was Twitter at 40. I was still 10% above. If we have a look through the balance of the year and where we are closing out now in February, these stocks are all well above their start value. This product is going to auto call now in February. So the people that were in this one have received um, their 3% times four quarters. They can get all their um, interest and coupons out and their capital and opportunity to go into the next product. So even in the, one of the worst crashes the market's ever seen, the protection's in place.
to make sure that we get these incomes paid as defined. Andrew, do you want to take us through what a fact sheet looks like and uh, what that contains? Absolutely. Thanks, Chad. That, that last slide is, is really important. Uh, it tells a, a great story. <clears throat> because this is a contract, everybody, um, it needs to be evidenced by paperwork. And paperwork is generally um, in the form of a fact sheet. The fact sheet is generally, it, it speaks for itself. It's got facts, features, product facts and features, key information, certain dates, benefits, and it literally um, repeats uh, in, in writing uh, a lot of the terminology and the explanation that Chad took, uh, took us through in the previous slide. So you know, we're talking about the issuing bank, uh, talked on the right-hand side under products, facts and features, it talks about uh, investment structure, quarterly memory income, so these are all becoming familiar, uh, the order call opportunities at 12 months. Uh, this, particular, this particular fact sheet is specific to those, um, those previous charts uh, in terms of the back testing that was also evident. Um, this is in US dollars, it says 3.3 quarterly. So it sets out the, the salient features that are important in terms of what are you contracting for. Um, this forms the, the basis of the contract between you and your bank. And this will be held by your platform in terms of they will be receiving those quarterly incomes. They will be receiving capital if it auto calls early. Um, everything is built in there, there's no surprises. Obviously the underlying basket of options that the bank has put into the, the, um, the investments reference story are there. Uh, they have their Bloomberg code, so you're free to follow these uh, yourself. Uh, and certainly Cashbox can assist you with that. In terms of the fact sheet, if we go to the next slide, it also shows you, this is further key information, it shows you some of the risks, and I'll deal with that a little bit later uh, in more detail. But on the key information side, it has your, when the subscription period open and closes, uh, when it strikes, in other words, when they determine the price of the, the underlying investment basket, when it starts, they call it issue date, but that's your actual start date, which is a week after they've taken the prices. It tells you your first coupon observation is obviously very important because you put your money in and three months later, you are uh, in, in line for an opportunity to have an, uh, your first coupon payment. Obviously, your order call, final observation if it runs to term. And at the bottom there in yellow, an ISIN, um, this is US dollar. And ISIN, the acronym stands for in Investment Security Identification Number. This is a Bloomberg code. So it's a highly transparent, regulated, um, and robustly regulated, that is, uh, product. And with that code, you can track, track it down through a number of search vehicles, engines, et cetera. That code has to be issued. This is really important, I believe, for a customer. You can track the life of the actual product and of your funds. It gives you your observation dates as we've been through the payment dates. That's very simple. There your income triggers in blue at 50%. That's part of the terms and conditions. So you know what your start price is. You'll be told of that. And then obviously you can work out what your 50% is of that. And there the auto call. As you can see, the first auto call opportunity in this case is at 100% after, after 12 months. Uh, and that is on the 3rd of 8th of February, which is uh, very shortly. And in fact, this particular auto call drops 1% uh, per quarter. That is a contractual thing. Sometimes it stays at 100. Sometimes it gets fixed at 90 or drops in tranches of five. This one de uh, um, decreases by 1% per quarter. So that's actually works in favor of the opportunity actually triggering and an early maturity happening because it's less of uh, the value that has to be achieved in terms of having an early, an early auto call. And they are very common. Uh, so you'll see that that is your, your fact sheets that you get, their references, and it's great because you can factor those dates into your cash flows, into your expenditures, into your dreams, aspirations, into when's money needed, and obviously also to provide opportunity for your next uh, investment. So where do these structured notes sit as, a, as, a, as an investment asset class? So typically here, uh, in summary, here's your investment universe. Your left axis is your kind of returns that you would get going from um, zero up to, you know, to 12, 15, 18%, whatever it might be. And the bottom axis is your risk. So typically speaking, the more risk you take on, the higher the reward you would expect to get. That's the typical investment scenarios that you get uh, told, which in truth are correct. Um, so at the bottom left-hand corner, cash is not the place to be. It hasn't been the place to be for a long time in terms of hard currency. Very, very poor returns, and it's going to stay that way. Moving along, you get bonds also have taken a huge beating and out of favor. And then moving up to the top right-hand side, you get your 
direct equities, your index funds, your unit trust, hedge funds, ETFs, et cetera, which have got stock market volatility and exposure to the stock market, which is a great place to be. And that's why we use these options in our underlying stories. But if you're in the wrong sector, um, you can be languishing with huge losses in, on paper. So that's typically what happens. And what we seek to do, and we'll show you in the third slide, because the second slide is important because yes, syndicated medical, which we looked at when we resonated um, with the platforms, is that this offers also secure, predictable um, earnings in terms of hard currency, uh, in terms of you know when you're going to get your money. And we moved it onto the point of looking at the cash box type of products of using index baskets, where you'll get probably an 8% return, 2% per quarter in US dollars. I'm talking US dollars. That's your index basket. If you move slightly diagonally to the right, we go into equity baskets. So in other words, the note we showed you earlier that had um, US tech style shares in there, your Apples, Twitters, et cetera, um, that will have, have a, a much higher return because of the volume and because of the enthusiasm for those type of shares at the moment. So you'll be getting a, a much higher return. Your I'd add funds of notes, uh, which we are, which we co-brand with them, is some a straddle between the two. You're looking between five and fifteen percent. So you can see we haven't strayed across into the direct equities. I think the, the chart that Chad showed, where the dips and the, the the rise and the fall of markets, we try to even that out by giving you a predetermined, defined return. So sure, while you're not losing 40%, you're not making 40%. We're going along at a solid 12%, which is predictable. You can bank it and it goes into your income stream. So um, it's, it's, it's a predictable income stream, this particular note that we're showing and the type of structures we do. The IDAD fund of notes, for example, is, is a fund of all these structured notes, but it's predicated on a growth basis. Um, ultimately, who's in this... Who's in this matrix of putting this together? I generally like to think there's, there's five or six um, components. I start at the bottom with the investment bank because it all starts at the investment bank. We have to choose the most robust uh, world and global class banks. Um, so they issue the actual product. It, it, it derives off their balance sheet. So we have to deal with reputable big names here who prepare to deal with us. And we have to have the structure who puts the actual structure together uh, and that is IDAD. IDAD is a UK regulated company in the United Kingdom with a long history. IDAD, interestingly, it just stands for investment design and distribution. And the distribution in this case, they we can call them the factory of the product. And the warehouse for the factory is Cashbox. So we warehouse their products. And we deal very closely with the investment platform. That's the next uh, sort of component to this. That is your fiduciary custodian who will hold it, trade on your instruction in terms of placing your investment with ultimately the investment bank. And certainly if there is a trusted advisor, as the little video said, if it's a life coach, wealth coach, a uh, financial advisor, intermediary planner, whatever, we invite them into the, into the discussion as well. It's, it's part and parcel. So they're not excluded. This is, this is not exclusionary. And um, the fund manager on the bottom left-hand corner, they're responsible yeah. for the actual unit trust side of things. But this, these are the, 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 the components I've mentioned now are probably the most important. Um, and I must stress, the, um, the access to the investment bank has to be through a, uh, an investment platform. It cannot come directly to Cashbox. We don't do that. We provide the warehousing of the product. It has to go through a regulated approved platform. Um, it's not a retail product that you can just simply write in for uh, to the investment bank. If you've got three or $4 million, you might be able to do that, but otherwise not. Uh, risk to consider, I mentioned it earlier, issuing bank number one. Uh, the credit ratings of these banks has to be uh, verified by their strongest balance sheets in the world. So it's household names, very, very large banks, huge due diligence goes into that. And it's an ongoing um, sort of process. And then obviously the underlying investment story we've mentioned, we might use indices or we might use stocks, but they are very, very carefully put together. And, and, and understanding that those investment stories, if I can call it that, have to be vetted by a number of different um, regulators primarily the bank's own risk and compliance. So these are very, also again, very large um, sort of blue chip, uh, well-known uh, companies that are representative on the FTSE 100, the S&P, the NASDAQ, et cetera. Um, and then moving along to the proof, <coughs> excuse me, it's very important that show, show me the money, show me the proof of that. 
And I think the collaborative affiliates we talk about ourselves, IDAD, the investment banks we work with, uh, nearly 1,300 products over the last decade, um, of which nearly 90, over 96% have delivered exactly what they said they were going to deliver according to the, the terms and conditions of those contracts. So contractually, they're very carefully put together because contractually, they're designed to deliver. In 2020, um, I, um, Cashbox Global itself launched eight products. As Chad mentioned, it was a phenomenal year from a point of view of learnings in terms of the crash and then the, the yo-yo rebound that nobody really expected. But into that, uh, we, we launched eight notes. Uh, we're delighted to say that every single note that has been launched, every single one has pre performed at its, at, at its predetermined levels. Um, all coupons have been paid. We haven't had to invoke the uh, memory feature. And, and none, of the actual coupon, none of the actual underlying stories drop below 50% again. We, we showed you one of those origin, already. The bottom line is on average 14% GBP sterling delivered to client and 12% United States dollar. So that is resulting. I mean, there's a worldwide move towards looking at this as a secure asset class to fund predictable income streams. So pension funds, non-discretionary funds are all looking at this asset class with uh, the Tony Robbins kind of bird seed approach. And portfolio allocations amongst managers is now moving into 30%. Uh, so it's a growing trend, and this is really, I won't say it's a bottom level stuff, we're not getting in a base le a ground floor, but it's, it, it's increasingly becoming democratized where we can now, through your platform, access these that were hitherto only at a very, very high level of contribution. Um, finally, fees, very, very important, and that wasn't left for last, but sometimes it leaves you the most impact. Delighted to say that your subscription that you put in to the investment is fully subscribed. So $10,000 will be invested at $10,000. There's no deduction from Cashbox Global. There's no deduction from the bank or from the structures. Uh, you get full allocation. Um, we obviously do receive a placement fee, as it says from the slide, um, but that is from the, inv the investment bank, um, and it's got nothing to do with your actual contribution. Very, very important. You must realize, though, that the custodian and platform that obviously administers your product may have uh, charges and you need to identify those with them. Uh, but you need, you need to realize that the percentage that is quoted on the fact sheet when it gets delivered is net from Cashbox. Um, and that's, I think, is a big thank you. And thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. This is a wonderful opportunity and we've got some great products that we're about to uh, release, uh, some of which have been pre-funded and uh, looking forward to sharing those with you soon. Thank you, Lee. Thank you very much, Chad and Andrew. That was definitely enlightening and we definitely learned a lot. We have a few questions that have come in from our community that I'd like to pose to you guys, just to get a better understanding. Um, Who are the parties involved in the compilations of the structured notes offerings that you guys put together? Andrew, if you want to, I'll scroll if you want to answer there. Yeah. <clears throat> so in terms of putting the actual deal together, uh, you need obviously an investment bank. A bank has to issue the product off its balance sheet. It can't exist otherwise. So as I mentioned, we we have uh, we work with uh, IDAT in the top right-hand corner, who are an approved <clears throat> UK-regulated structuring company. They're a specialist in this, and they've got very unique relationships uh, at institutional level with the investment banks. Um, Cashbox also gets involved with the, the ideas and the shaping of the product, myself particularly. Uh, and once the shape of the product um, comes to life, um, if we pre-fund it to the level of $250,000, then we can take it into a community and make it available, for example, into your platform. Um, and that's where the platform gets involved. Uh, the platform holds the product. It holds the security. It holds the, um, the certificate that uh, funds have been invested. And then the relationship is between the investment platform and the investor in the middle of that slide. Uh, Cashbox does not receive any funds from the client. When the client makes an investment, it goes directly from the client's bank account to his uh, investment platform. And the investment platform then remits it via a clearinghouse to the investment bank. So it's a very clear line of sight. Uh, there's no third party. There's no escrow accounts. There's no holding fiduciary wallets or any of that sort it's directly from the client's bank account to his platform to the investment bank and vice versa Lee when a coupon is paid it comes exactly the same way it comes directly back to his platform account 
and then it's up to the client to, to determine whether he wants to pay it away to a third party or anybody else. So it's a very clean, from a governance perspective, an audit perspective, and control perspective. It's a very simple flow in terms of the money um, getting to the, uh, the investment bank and vice versa when the capital is either repaid or a coupon is paid. Very simple structure to, to analyze. So are structured notes listed? Um, they're not listed on any exchange as such. They do have an ISIN number. Um, it's, if you look at that number there, as I mentioned, it's a Bloomberg's code. So what that means is that they are securitized by the bank and hence tradable. So a structured note, um, if a client you know, wanted to um, exit it, there is, there's, not, there's, there's a buy and sell arrangement where we need to find a, a buyer and a seller. And depending on the, the market conditions, you might have a whole heap of people trying to buy them. If market conditions were, were as adverse as they were in March 2020, you wouldn't have found an easy buyer. So a structured note does not work like a unit trust where there's an obligation on the management company to repurchase your units uh, by law. This is on a case of willing buyer, willing seller. Um, and obviously at a termination, either on auto call or at term, final maturity, then the obligation is on the bank to, re, uh, to redeem your full capital, plus obviously all the coupons it would have paid. Thank you. Now, just pivoting to auto calls, you've mentioned that sometimes they stay at 100%, sometimes, as the example that you showed us, it decreases at 1%. Who determines that? And that is a, yeah, why? that is, yeah, okay, thanks for that. That's a feature of the structuring side of things. So we, we look at it in terms of how the markets are performing, how asset classes are performing, how economies are performing. It's a big matrix. Um, it's, it's a function of, I call them propeller heads, uh, looking to see how they can make the product attractive. Now, often what you must understand is that the bank, the actual issuing bank, the investment bank is ultimately looking to acquire those shares that it is using in the investment basket. And it doesn't want to acquire them at too expensive a rate. So often they build in these auto calls, uh, which means that in a, in, in a rising market and you've got a falling percentage on your auto call trigger, there's a high likelihood that auto calls do come in. And it's, it, it, it's, it's part of the terms and conditions, so they can't change it. They can't unilaterally halfway through say, oh, we're going to change the percentage required or up it or down it. It's set in stone from day one. Obviously, you need to be aware of that because – um, for example, the, 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 the example that we used earlier uh, had a six-year term, and it's in all likelihood, high probability factor of about 99.8% is that it will also call after 12 months, which means that the clients have to either go and find and redeploy and, and find a new structured note or a new opportunity to replace that 3.5% or 3.3%, or it gives them the opportunity as a liquidity event to say, right, I've, I've, this is actually suits me. I've got liquidity. I can go and do something else with it. Uh, that, 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 that's sort of uh, important to me. Um, obviously, you lose the investment loses on uh, closes on order call. That's it. it. It stops, and that's the end of the investment. So um, sometimes you would love to be locked into three and a half percent for six years, and it might end early. But that's part of the terms and conditions. And Andrew, I suppose just to chip in. Um, a great way to rebalance your portfolio because another opportunity may be coming around um, that you can pick up on. So these people- yeah, So I'll give you a very good example, Chad. This is more than likely an auto call next week um, at 3.3% return. We have a new product that is launched now. It's available till 23rd. And that is offering in US dollars 4.5. So for those clients who are coming out, they're now going to be seeing a 1.2% increase if they if you redeploy. So uh, great opportunity. It's worked very, very well for them. They're moving into a higher return environment with the same, this exactly the same terms and conditions. You know, the 50-50 memory, everything built in. So it's, it's great to have that liquidity. It does seem to be very exciting and a major advantage. So do the timings of the first auto call observation give us insight into the bank's projections on how well they believe the underlying equity is set to perform over the term of the structured note? It's, it's yeah, that's very insightful. It often does. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, and also depends on, as you say, the, the type of instruments or, or uh, that have been used in the reference basket in the underlying investment basket. So, 
um, you know, technology, this particular product that we're looking at now and the one that we're launching that has been launched, it's all technology. And if you think about it in the current frame of reference, technology, especially in the US, which is the world's greatest economy, biggest economy, that has, that has dragged the American markets to these highs, um, you know, that, that technology digital sector. So um, they are prepared to give you a very lucrative uh, coupon because they are looking to acquire those shares, but they want to acquire it at, um, at, a, at a sooner rate at a, than, than, than letting it go for six, than six years. So this particular product has, has a 1% descending. The one that we're coming out with has got an immediate 90%. So it just it shows you that there is a demand for the the fizzy frothy type of companies, and maybe your big um, sort of indexes they're not so keen on. Uh, they rise more slowly. People aren't frothing around for them, trying to put add them to their portfolios. So um, we must just remember, in a structured notes, the investor never holds and owns those shares. They're just simply a reference basket. It's the bank that ultimately is looking at those from a long term play. And I would suggest that it doesn't mean that if you look at this, that you should rush out and buy those individual stocks. There's a lot of volatility in them. And that's the reason why we build in um, defensive mechanisms such as 50% capital barrier, a very deep income trigger before your income gets disturbed, a memory feature. You don't have that if you own the actual stock. So that's very important. It's the banks. This is the banks at risk. Yeah. And that's why they build in autos to actually get out early if they want to at, at a reasonable price for them. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this explanation on structured notes to our community. I think it will definitely answer the questions that they have had going forward. And we look forward to continuing the relationship with you, Cashbox Global, on our platform with the structured notes that you bring to our community. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nidhi. Thank you for the opportunity. And if there are any further questions at any stage, please shout. Thank you.